Okay, so we're all set up ready to rehouse some now. We yep. discovered that some of the labels will peel off, so that's good. The monitor atom is very, very small, so we want one with the very small holes. And this is the sort of standard setup we've done. It looks quite moist at the moment. We've put a little bit of moss in for it to drink off, and a little bit of bark for it to get under. And monitor atom, it's a, a fun apelma, usually reasonably dry, but it's a sling, so all slings need moisture, usually. Not from the GBB, really, maybe an OBT. But even then, they need a drink. So that's what it looks like inside. Let's get him in there. Yep. I'll do, I'd better do this bit because I've done it a few times. Yeah. And you can. Got a very thin pokey here. You can cut the back off, but I think you'll just come out if I'm gentle. Here he comes. It's tiny. They take a long time to grow, usually, our our fun of palmas as well. Mm. There he's in. Let's start that and get a photo whilst he's in a good place. Yeah. So there he is in there, looking uh, quite happy. Very small. There he is, look, he's moving around now. See him? Oh, wow. Black eyes. Pretty. Quite cool. It's going to be a good 10 years, I reckon, that he's fully grown. Yeah. At least. We'll see. Yes. Okay, so next up we've got the, it's actually the Amazonius Burgazi, Burgazi, Burgazi. Um, they've had a name change, haven't they? And, uh, yeah. My other one is labelled up correctly as Amazonius. This is a small one. No. I don't know, I'm taking the sticker off first. It's a reasonable size, actually, it's sort of scrunched up. Which one should we use? So, maybe that one, I think. Get through that. You take the top off. Now these can be lightning fast. Put it down there. Yep, same setup. I can't. Ooh, it's trying to claw out already. <laughs> mm, back in. Yeah, he's in. Right, hold it there, I'll get a photo. Okay, so I've put him in there, but he's big enough to go straight into the big size. So you can stay in there just for now, but I'm gonna change him a bit later on, I think. And next up, we're gonna do the, uh, we've got the label there, we've got a new, that's changed its name, isn't it? Lazia Cosnia Sazmai. Lazia Cosnia so oh, just put it there. I don't know exactly how to say it. It was the uh, P Sazmai, but now it's changed its name. So, I don't, at this size, I don't think this will be a problem, but they can be really feisty when they get bigger, these ones. Oh, just run back in. It's bigger than I thought it was. Jumped in. Yes, he's in. Right. Okay, I'm gonna photo. Okay. So there he is, looking uh, pretty settled already. Looks all right in that file as well, so we'll leave him be. Okay, next up we've got the Haplocosmia Himalayana. So, um, yeah, you've opened it, okay. This is another. Same setup. Same setup. They're all the same. Yeah. It's just the amount of holes that's different on top. This could potentially be very fast, but we'll see. My other one wasn't actually. I've got one, well, the other one's almost an adult. Sub adult, I suppose. Yeah. Giving me a little mini trap pose as well. Don't cut off. Off, 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 off. That's it, he's in. Right. Leave it late, I'll take that out. Just to stay into the light like that. There we are. Very twitchy in there. Started the video instead of taking a photo. It's very twitchy. So I'll turn it around so it's in the light and maybe I'll get a photo. It's interesting seeing a really small one because mine was a juvenile one, got it, but I'm not I saw it anyway. A month after I got it just to see it. And then uh, probably seen it four times in the last year. 
escape attempt. Yeah, it's back in, it's back in. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Not gonna do a photograph. Yeah. So I've had a death recently. Dave. RIP. And there he is. He's been like this for two days, so I'm pretty sure he's dead. Another post. Yeah. I'm just gonna take him out of it because I want to just contain him. It's been a bit weird though. It's, I don't 100% know he's eaten for the last two, three weeks. I found him in, with his his bum in the water bowl like three days ago. The water bowl was like that, with just like a two mil of water in. He had his bum sat in it. And he was alive, but his bum was sort of wet, which is weird. But then he came out and I saw him climb up the side again the day after, and then two days after that he was here, dead. So just don't know. I don't know. He's not been. If he has been eating, he's been sort of not eating very well and sort of leaving most of it. Could have had like a... I've seen him snatch food, and then it was still there the next day in the same place where he snatched it. So something could be wrong with him. Could be have a disease or something. Fortunately, yeah. well, sometimes something goes wrong with him. You never know what it is, really. He's been acting a little bit strange for a while. Right, we're back for some more rehousing. I've got Charlotte with me this time. We're going to start. I've made slightly different setups for each one based on what I think. <laughs> that makes sense. So this is for the Syria Pagapus Hatti Hatti, which is a confusing spider because it's called the some places say it's arboreal and its name is the purple earth tiger. Earth tiger. Um, but from what I understand they like to burrow anyway and they might become more boreal later on, so I'm not. So the setup here is lots of burrow, I've made them a burrow down there, very more deepish burrow with moss over the top there. An area to sort of go behind here and water bowl, and then some, there is some bits from webbing and climbing up the top as well, if you should do that, which I see. I think it could be a reasonable size for this thing, this one. What, what, um, is a female in there? Not tell this size. Okay. <laughs> the only way I can know is with a malt. Remember, I did it the other night. Can um, I help? Um, no, not really. No, you can help by just being here, and not creating. He's gonna be fast. He is going to be If it gets out and it doesn't, it gets away. That's then you can help. Yeah, I've got better ice cream. Oh, one run away, anyone? Oh, not even happen. Did you find it? It yeah, so but it helps if there's two people looking. Yeah. Not backwards. Very hairy. Of course it's very hairy, it's a spider. I wonder if it's come out, I don't know if I've got an idea. Can it even see? It looks like chewed up the kitchen. He was hungry! Here we are, look, look, look. Ooh, see how fast he was? Right I know, I know where he is, but did you see how fast he was? Yeah. Once he decided to go, he really went. I'll try and get a picture. I don't think we will. Okay, so based on my previous experience early on today, I decided that we'd better get the lid on to get that photographs. The water bowl seems to have emptied, so there was a bit of moss hanging in the water bowl. Just a strand, but that was full about five minutes ago, like this setting. No, don't worry, look, look, too much now. There we go. Hatty Hatty. Right, next up we've got the GBB. And this setup is a smaller water bowl than everybody else, but lots of webbing opportunities basically. Charlotte, Charlotte, just leave it on, leave it on. Please. Lots of webbing opportunities basically in the leaves. And it's drier than the rest, and the holes go down slightly lower on this one. And it's, it's not got as much water in it. I put, I put water in there. So, these are in my one of the Discord groups I'm on, the Rikushi one, there's a tarantula section. And this is easily the most photographed spider 
that's on there in all ages. As in, I've got adults, but everyone else has slings, and we're all photographing them all the time. It's with a, a real close-up lens, so these slings are absolutely amazing. Mine might even be the smallest. Oh, look, there he is. Look, look, look at that. See, it's pink. Why is there? Right? It's not really a holding type thing, Charlotte. Then why are you holding him? No, I'm not holding him, he's just walking. I don't mind if he walks on you, but no jerky movements. That's it. GBB's look absolutely amazing when they lay babies like this. We need to get them in there, really. It can still move really fast. Oh, he's up my sleeve, he's up my sleeve. I'll just fold it back there, he's just back out. So it's not exactly ideal, is it? Rehousing off Charlotte's sleeve. He's been very calm. Because he's a calm now, that's it. That's him, he's in. I don't think we're going to get a picture, he's walked off. We've got a bit of <laughs> walking motion action instead of Charlotte's arm. You can see him just in there. Exploring. I think he'll be quite happy in there. Okay, Charlotte. Okay, so now we're on to the Chilobrachus fimbriatus. And I, it says heavy webbing for these, but I'm sort of assuming they're more like a Chilobrachus huhani, which I've got a small one and a big one. When it says heavy webbers, they literally are really heavy webbers and they just do a sort of shallow burrow, in my experience with two spiders. Um, so that's got plenty of webbing anchors and like, they like to move leaves around, I've found use them but also it's got the option to get down to this sort of darker area there is a burrow down there just around here so it's got two options there let's we'll see what happens um, I've got a Chilobrachus discless and that's very much a big burrower rather than a web it, it webs really heavily but it's not I wouldn't have set it by this it's giving it more soil for it and go deeper and I've got another Chilobrachus which I don't know what it is but it's a dark wood one and that's done that it's just webbed straight gone straight to the bottom not done much webbing, one web, web stuff at the top. So I'm sort of assuming that Thimbriatus is much more like a Huhani. We shall see. <clears throat> right. Just sort of half decent size in here. Yeah, could be verging on the three centimetres if it's stretched out. These are quite leggy anyway. Right, these are fast. Like, ridiculously fast. Like me even doing this is... Potentially it's quite silly. Let's see if I can get that this way. Oh, there he goes. Right. Stick. There he is, he's in. Okay. That's about as good as it gets with one of these. Charlotte is holding the snake at the moment. Are you going to get a picture? I certainly can't risk watching him walk around. I've just been watching the. Uh, DBB walk around, it's all enclosed, it's, it's doing it now, still walking around, testing out its whole enclosure with one of these, just dart, could be out there in a second, so not going to mess about with this one. Okay, and then last but not least is the Chilibrachis Natanichirum, Natanichirum, and he's got Dave's old enclosure, Dave was my Harpacteria pulchris, the pulchris that unfortunately passed away. I didn't want to waste the label of the name, so and it seemed like a fitting way to honour Dave one. I give him Dave two. The electric blue. Sherbrachus. I can't say it. <clears throat> anyway, the electric blue. Nata Natanai Natanicharum. Sherbrachus Natanicharum. I don't pick easy names today. Right. And this one is definitely bigger. I don't even know if this is going to be big, big enough for it, really. It might just be like one malt in here. Wow, it's big. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the others, but... <clears throat> the sensible me would just leave this in here right now. I want to see it, really. This could be lightning fast shot, so you keep an eye on where it goes. It's going to get to come out slowly, it would be brilliant, but he's... Chili brackets and the... Oh, Whoa, I see his fangs, they're blue. I know. 
Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, he did what I expected. See how fast he was? He could have done that in any direction. He could have just come through straight out. So we don't mess about with him. But yeah, that was a, a really good size. So the brackets. I'll learn it, I will learn it. Maturum, and that's in maturum. Okay, anyway, that's, that's brilliant. Okay. Thanks, Rad, for this amazing um, surprise mystery box um, from Creatures from the North. That's great, and thanks for watching this video. And thanks for watching this video. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Rad, for this amazing mystery box. And um, this is from Creatures from the North. Yep. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Bye.